Hey there. <clears throat> um, now this video, it's one I originally took in February of 2020, right before April, uh, when all this uh, craziness started happening in earnest. Um, but I've got a little bit more video editing experience right now. I guess I wanted to see if I could take the footage I, I, of that outing and make a better, better and shorter video out of it. <clears throat> I'm hoping to make a similar trip um, sometime next month, before the end of next month, while the winter conditions are still good. Family and obligations permitting and assuming nothing crazy happens um, in the meantime that would encourage me to not go out in the mountains. Anyway, enjoy this video and I hope it's better than my last one of the same subject. Same video, different take. Yeah. All right, enjoy. Well, day one. One and a half more days ago. Well, this day isn't over yet. Anyway, I made it. I overdid it. I did uh, almost six miles uphill with a 40 pound pack and a pulk full of gear. Yeah, I was really hurting when I finally got here. Anyway, got camp set up. Best I can do. Bunch of scrub oak. It's what's readily available right now. I'm just warming up some water for some coffee. I need some bad. I'm a little dehydrated. Got my bed made. I like this one and a half because I can shove my gear over there. Just clothes and whatnot. So I got plenty of room. A little more cramped over here because I gotta keep space for the stove. I have about four feet of snow underneath me. I had to compact it down and I got some snow anchors going. Hopefully those hold. If they don't, I'm gonna be in a bad way. Oh, I need some coffee. One thing about melted snow, you never quite get all the particulates out. Oh yeah, that's good. <sighs> Tired. Oh, about four o'clock. <clears throat> Sun will go down in about an hour or so. <sighs> yeah, boy, a lot of water. I'm gonna sleep like the dead tonight. And I'm taking Advil tonight. Oh my goodness. It was a death march getting up that hill, that mountain. It seriously was a death march. <clears throat> I'm gonna guess it's uh, probably 20 or less outside sun is setting we no longer have the sun clouds moving in might get some snow tonight yeah tell you what when you open this thing up it gets a lot more oxygen it's just like woof. look at that boom Close it, it seems like it's a nice slow burn. That uh, scrub oak don't burn so well. But, uh, yeah, it's probably about 60 degrees in here. Nice and cozy. I'm gonna have to, um, tomorrow I'm gonna have to make an effort to get some better firewood, not scrub oak. And there's my view from my bed. Very nice. <sighs> well. 
Well, uh, last night wasn't too bad. I had to get up and pee in the middle of the night. Um, this morning was a little cold. I am sloughing as much of this wood in here as I can, man. Yeah, it's just cold this morning. I wasn't, I don't know, it's just a little cold. For some reason my feet were cold, but I don't know. It wasn't too bad. And I'm boiling water. Be back later. Well, <clears throat> well, here we are, day two. Whoops. Doesn't help if you spill coffee on yourself. Oh. Well, uh, my goal today is to find some pine firewood. I'll try some aspen too, but I'm looking for pine. So this coffee here is taste your choice with a little bit of sweet and low, <clears throat> a little bit of creamer, and a little bit of hot cocoa mix. <sighs> Not too bad. Hey, you gotta check out the stove. Oh, this thing makes all the difference. The thing is, you gotta give yourself time to get the firewood. That is a thing of sweetness. It's about 20 degrees outside. I'd say we're doing pretty good. I love the mountains. It's quiet. Nothing here but the wind of the pines. And the crows. Yeah, I got plenty of firewood all around me. <laughs> Thing there was like a miniature cabin. Not quite as roomy, but a heck of a lot better than what I was doing before. There's no comparison. Absolutely no comparison. No comparison. That took a lot of effort with this hatchet, man. I needed an axe. Boiling more water. Because, uh, well, I need more water. Tell you one thing I don't like about the stove is that you're going to spend at least half the day gathering firewood. No joke. Whatever you're doing, half the day is going to be spent gathering wood. Uh, 
so I chopped down a freaking tree because I knew that was pine. It was it was beetle kill. That thing was long dead. But I knew there was some good firewood in there, and I got the bits off the top. I was trying to get down more, but my saw it just it just can't do it anymore. That saw there. It's going in the Quack. shit can. For one, it gave out. And for two, I cut my finger trying to put that thing away. Might need stitches, I don't know. Been putting direct pressure on it for a while now. Blood all over the place like a stuck pig. And there it goes again. Bitch. Yep. Not a fan of that saw. Not at all. Well, in reference to the show alone, there is so much to do in terms of just surviving and sustainability. Yesterday, I spent half the day getting here. I spent the other day, or the other half of the day, setting up camp and getting some firewood. Setting up camp here was hard because I had four feet of snow. I had to compact it with my snowshoes, wait for it to freeze, cut myself some snow anchors, dig those in, wait for those to freeze. So it took me most of the day to get set up. And by the time I um, got everything set up, I was just exhausted. I was done. So today, had a little fire in the morning. Spent half of the day cutting firewood, and I'm constantly boiling water for snow. Pfft. Let me rephrase that. I'm constantly boiling snow for water. I'm boiling snow right now for water. I'm boiling it for coffee. I'm boiling it for water. So I'm constantly. It's like a never. It's like just a constant camp chore: boiling water. Um. So I and then. I have this happen. I, that spent, I've, I've spent like a good hour pro applying direct pressure to that. It's still bleeding, but I think with the antiseptic and the bandit on it, I think it's okay for right now. I'll have to keep it dry though. So all this said and done, I might have a couple hours to walk around here and do a little bit of snowshoe hare hunting. I saw some tracks, uh, well, behind me. No, I'm sorry, in front of me. Uh, but they're old. So I might just take a little walk around camp, see if I see any more tracks. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I want to stay up a little bit later tonight because hunkering down all night, it's it makes for our, going to bed early, it makes for a really long night. So we'll see. But tomorrow morning, it's gonna take me a little while to pull up camp and go. I'm webbit hunting again. Saw some old tracks, but nothing fresh so far. I'm just kind of walking around my camp, see if there's anything nearby. Nice little clearing. And you really gotta watch it with these snowshoes. Real easy to trip. But oh, what a difference they make. If I didn't have those things on, I'd probably sink down on my freaking knee. I had to stop for the view. Yeah, that view. It's 
Saw some squirrel tracks, but nothing fresh in snowshoe hair. I went out that way, I went out that way, and I went out that way. Camp being right here. I didn't see nothing. Things now, uh, well, sundown is going to be about three hours, and at that point, I'm going to be focused on getting a fire going and eating three hours or so. But I figured I'd do me a little target practice on this bad boy. When I was trying to put this thing up, my hand slipped, and I would not be surprised if it cut me about as deep as that tooth. All right there, it's still dripping a little bit. See it right there. It was a lateral cut, it wasn't deep. It wasn't going this way, it's going this way. So I might just have a flap that'll heal over. But I am not using this saw again. Well, I had my fun. Should be about 40, 22 casings there on the ground, or the snow. Let's see what I did to this bad boy. Piece of shit. That's the bastard that got me. Well, I feel better now. So this is night number two. I'm waiting for the sun to set. This time I'm not starting up my fire until after the sun's down. I noticed that uh, down here the snow's been kind of sinking. It's creating a huge draft underneath, underneath there, so I covered that up. And the other entrance in the side, I covered that up, so all the edges, I've got some snow piled up a little bit, so the air can't get through on the bottom. Except right there, because that's my main entrance. And I've heard, if you dig a trench, it gives the cold air somewhere to go. So I dug down, and I threw the snow up on top there to create like a little wall so hopefully that does something for me <sighs> not yet but i'm waiting for the waiting for the sun to set temperature's dropping pretty fast but not as fast as it was last time you ever see the movie uh and i and i thought it'd be funny to include uh clips of it uh the movie day after tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> how <laughs> the uh, you know I guess the the global freezing things going on and it's like this huge cold wave and you see these dudes in the helicopter going oh, oh, you know freezing like in an ice cube like that which is total bullshit <laughs> um, 
the last time I was out, that's what it felt like though. It, it was, it was, it was a really fast freeze. Um, I'm only about 7,500 feet right now, so, and we're not on a, on a tail end of a winter storm, so, <laughs> a bit of a difference there. <sighs> I'll never get used to taking selfies. Look stupid. And I'm gonna put my phone now because I put my phone down now because it's freezing. This cold saps the batteries out of this thing quick. Might have enough firewood for tomorrow and my tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh. About fifty degrees in here. Good morning. It's about 4.30, last day here. It got cold last night. Real cold. It's all ice from, from melting and refreezing. Time to get that fire going. Last day. It's cold. <clears throat> As if there is any doubt, <laughs> I would get a fire going this morning. Oh my. Yeah. Good to think, I thought, well, maybe I won't get a fire tomorrow morning and then. I can just pack up everything and go. Um, yeah. Needed a fire. Holy smokes. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> oh, so warm. I have a thawed Snickers bar. Woohoo! Last day, last cup of coffee. Oh yeah. I right, hit the spot. It's no coffee. Snow ice coffee? I don't know. Melted snow coffee. Spent a while waiting for this trip. And now it's almost over. Two and a half days alone. Huh. In the mountains. It's 7,500 feet. 
I'm gonna guess the overnight lows are probably 15 degrees. <clears throat> yeah, I've endured, I've endured colder and in much less hospitable arrangements. Cheers. Cheers. Or as I would to say it in Korea, Dipshida! <laughs> Good stuff. Seven o'clock. Well, we're all packed up. Here's where the stove was. <laughs> this big, big impression right here. That's where it came in and out. This ice spot right there that's where I slept big old divot I was never completely warm under my back it was always a little cool oh there's my pack and I have a feeling my hips gonna start hurting this and I pick that thing up snowshoes replacement walking stick trekking pole folk now all I gotta do is get down the mountain about five and three quarter miles five and a half five to three quarter mile it's currently 938 yeah